What is up, Pats Nation? It is Patriots Global here with another video. And Sterling Shepard, guys, Sterling Shepard has been a guy related back to the Patriots a lot this offseason, but more specifically recently after they missed out on Golden Tate, they were not able to trade for um, Odell Beckham Jr. They couldn't trade for Antonio Brown. They tried to get Adam Humphreys. That didn't work out. And then you kind of hear these rumors about the Patriots possibly looking to, you know, trade for Sterling Shepard. And as time goes on, it just gets, you know, more and more of an actual thing. And then recently, the Giants actually had a contract extension with Sterling Shepard. And then we find out that the Patriots were reportedly having interest in trading for Sterling Shepard. But obviously, all of that cancels out now. So to start off with the contract extension he got because this was supposed to be his last season of his rookie contract. We all know that the Patriots love to do that. They love to trade for guys on the last year of their contract. It's just kind of their thing. It's kind of what they do best. But then Shepard signed a four-year, $41 million contract extension, which includes $21.3 million in guaranteed money. Now, a lot of people thought the same thing about Odell Beckham Jr. when he finally got that huge, huge contract last offseason, you know, when all these trade rumors were going around. But ultimately, he got this huge contract extension, and then a year later, he could trade it to the Browns. So really, you never do know. But because of how young Sterling Shepard is, with how much time he still has to develop, um, and the uh, contract that they did give him, it just truly doesn't seem like they would trade Sterling Shepard, especially because they just got rid of one of their best wide receivers, and they don't really have much wide receivers other than Sterling Shepard at this point. Now, the biggest thing that sticks out to me about you know them supposedly being interested in trading for him and then it not working out is, dude, seriously, another wide receiver that falls through for the Patriots, and what makes me think about this even more is you look at the the past with the Patriots this season and them not being able to sign any receivers and to me it comes you know either one is karma just really on our side is does fate just not want us to get any good wide receivers for some reason that just every single time it seems to fail or two is Bill Belichick really not jumping on these things the way he should be is he not pursuing them you know fast enough or hard enough those are my two big questions because it seems that the Patriots just keep falling at every single wide receiver that is to get. The 26-year-old Sterling Shepard caught 66 passes for 872 yards and four touchdowns on a pretty nice 2018 season with the Giants. Now, as we all know, the Giants do not have a good offensive line. As we all know, Eli Manning it's not what he used to be by any means. So the fact that he can put up those kinds of numbers with, you know, an offensive line and quarterback like that says a lot. You give him a good offensive line, you give him the best coaching staff, you give him Tom Brady, and this guy would go off. That's why it would have been really great to see Sterling Shepard on the Patriots. It would have been a great accusation, but ultimately the Patriots will have to look somewhere else. The big question that really comes up is what would the Patriots have even had to give up for Sterling Shepard? I mean, would the Giants have wanted a first-round pick? If so, I definitely would have said no to that. I, I don't think he would have been a first-round pick-worthy type of trade. A second round is something that I heard going around a lot about the Patriots, you know, potentially giving up for him if this trade went through. I would have been okay with that, honestly, as they had two second-round picks, but whatever. Something that I do like about Sterling Shepard is his build. He is a wide receiver that has a very nice frame, honestly, a very nice build in general. Now, when it comes to height, he wasn't anything special. I mean, he's just five foot ten, so he's a smaller guy. But like I said, nice frame, very broad, a guy that, you know, can break some tackles. So you look at that not happening anymore. You look at Sterling Shepard being off the board for the Patriots now. What do the Patriots do? Well, at this point, I don't know any other wide receivers that they are you know, interested in. There has been nothing regarding potential wide receivers that they are looking to trade for with any teams, anything like that. So at this point, I'm just going to say the draft because there is literally no wide receivers on this market anymore that I look at and go, that's a plug-in wide receiver that can help the Patriots. 
Now, I definitely would not say it is off the board by any means for the Patriots to still make a trade for a wide receiver, but as of now, there is nothing being reported. So for anyone wondering, anyone saying, was there anyone else the Patriots were looking at? The answer to that is no, um, at least what is being reported. But yet again, the help for wide receiver for the Patriots shrinks even more. I don't know how much shorter it can actually get. But it has not been our luck when it comes to adding wide receivers this offseason. So Sterling Shepard will not be a Patriot. What are your guys' thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments below. Also, make sure you guys like and subscribe. as helps me and the channel, and especially you guys out very, very, very much. Make sure you guys share this video with everybody else so we can go the Patriots global family. And other than that, I will catch you guys in another video.